guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Rebecca, aka Vegan Bodega Cat, and we're doing a review today because I've been curious about this product for a long time. I've seen it on Instagram and I'm like wondering how good is it really? And that product is that is the back of the box. Right Rice. Right Rice sent me this box. However, they're not paying me. So I can say whatever I want. And if I don't like it, you'll know it. I've had one experience with a rice alternative before that was cauliflower rice. And honestly, cauliflower rice tastes like shit until you put like a ton of butter on it. And at that point, why are you eating a rice alternative anyway? Unless you're like allergic to rice, I don't get the point. Cauliflower just tastes like small pieces of vegetable. I would just make a side of cauliflower at that point. Anyway, I was curious, number one, like why would I use this product? Is it higher protein, lower carb, whatever? And does it taste good? So I haven't even looked at the macros on this. I haven't opened the box. I haven't tasted it. I'm just gonna do this whole thing with you guys. Let's go on this journey of finding out you know, what's up with right rice? Let's get to opening. I really like the packaging. I like the branding, so we'll give them a, a plus on that. Inside, so this is a variety pack that I got sent. Inside, oh, they have different flavors. All right, cool, so here's the original one. I wanna take a look at the macros really quick. So a third of a cup dry is 180 calories, 10 grams of protein, 30 carb, two fat. That is a lot higher in protein than regular rice. So I really like that. The ingredients are, wow, super clean. Lentil flour, chickpea flour, pea fiber, rice flour. Wow, there's rice in your rice substitute. Sunflower oil, salt. I see now why it's very high in protein. The lentils and chickpeas and peas, protein. I dig it. I'm a high protein vegan on the day to day. I do like eating higher protein since I work out and also it helps me feel fuller longer. So I would eat this over regular rice if it tasted good, we'll see. Uh, let's see what flavors they have. So original, garlic herb, Spanish rice, and lemon pepper. Oh, there's a card. The holy grail of grain, grainovation. Wow, I definitely read that as grain ovulation, strange. It's a teeny tiny micro revolution, no bigger than a grain of rice. That's because we found a way to pack our new rice grain with the power of vegetables. Now you can soak up great sauces and inspire your next meal along with 10 grams of complete protein, five grams of fiber, and almost 40% less net carbs. Enjoy original right rice seasoned your way or try one of our delicious already seasoned flavors. All that's left is to cook this up and try it. Let's look at the cooking instructions. Easy to cook in 10 minutes. One cup of water for each one cup of right rice. So it's basically a one to one ratio. In a medium saucepan, bring water to a boil, add right rice, return to boil, cover. Remove from heat, let stand for 10 minutes, fluff with a fork. It smells like corn nuts. Yeah, it looks like little yellow pellets. Kind of like rice, like, kind of like a slightly puffed rice. I think I'm going to try the original and the lemon pepper. Let's get to cooking and then to taste testing. All right, so it says a one to one ratio. So I'm gonna put half a cup of water in here and boil it first. And we're gonna start with the original. All right, so that took like five minutes to boil because it's like no water. Before it boils away, we're gonna add half a cup of right rice. And then it says to bring it to a boil again, but it's like already boiling. So I'm just gonna turn it off and cover it with a plate because I don't have a lid for this specific um, pot. So we're gonna cover it like that. And we're gonna wait 10 minutes. It's been 10 minutes, so, ooh, look at that. Looks kind of like little bits of pasta, all right? All right, I'm gonna set this aside and make the lemon pepper one. Okay, so I made it. I have the original right here and the lemon pepper right here, and I'm ready to taste test. Let's start with the original. <sighs> Again, doesn't smell like much. 
It tastes like chickpea pasta. Like chickpea pasta in like orzo shapes, you know what I mean? But also this is a plain one, so I, I don't expect it to be super flavorful. You're supposed to either season it or put other things on top of it or in it or mixed in for it to taste like anything. Rice itself doesn't taste like much, but I could see this being a really good substitute for rice if you're looking for low carb or higher protein. Pretty yum. The lemon pepper one, on the other hand, has some flavoring on it, so more exciting. Mmm. It reminds me of... You know those Uncle Ben's rices, the ones that come pre-seasoned? That's really good. Just the right amount of lemon. Super yum. I can only imagine how good the Spanish rice one is going to taste. I'm excited for this one. And I'm excited for garlic herb. But I figured there'd be too many flavors to taste test in one video, considering we have to cook them all. Honestly, it gets a thumbs up from me. I like it. Again, I told you I'm a huge fan of eating a large amount of protein. and. Products like this make that a lot easier. Thumbs up from me. I would definitely use this as a replacement for rice if I wanted a higher protein meal. It's five bajillion times better than cauliflower rice. That shit, mm-mm, 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 mm-mm. You know what I'm gonna do? Give me a minute. I'm actually gonna make my lunch right now. I'm gonna make myself a meal and I'll show you the kind of meal I would make with this. Be right back. Hello, I just made lunch and now I'm back. Here's my lunch, here's how I would actually eat this. So, we have a high protein lunch over here. We have some broccoli slaw. I didn't make it with mayo, I made it with like a tahini dressing that I like to make. It just has tahini, lemon, Dijon mustard, salt and water, just like ch -ch -ch whisked together. And then we have the right rice over here. And then we have some vegan sausage over here. All together this ends up being 407 calories, 29.2 grams of protein, 17.5 grams of fat, and 30.2 grams of carbs. This is a super duper high protein meal, and it is delicious and delightful. And I think the right rice just fits right in to my daily diet, right in. Wow, can I even use a fork? Mm. So good, super good, okay. And that's all we have for today. It gets a thumbs up for me, I like it, and I'm not a person who usually likes, you know, carb substitutes. Uh, definitely give it a try if you're wanting something lower carb or higher protein. I see it as something similar to like chickpea pasta instead of like actual pasta. I eat chickpea pasta a lot, so this fits right in with my regular diet, and I really, really do enjoy it. All right, is there anything else that you guys are curious about that you would like me to try? Let me know in the comment section down below or in my Instagram DMs. Like if you like, subscribe if you wanna subscribe. If you wanna follow me on Instagram where I post every single day, I'll put my Instagram right here. And that's all I have for today. I will talk to you next time. Goodbye! Shout out to all my bodega babes. Jessica, Christina, Marlene, Osiris, Alex, Laura, Ellen, Michelle, Kayleen, Marielle, Alex of Planet Earth, Lucia, Juanita, Charlotte, Emily, Jenny, Marcia, and Gemini. You guys are the absolute best, and these possibles are made, these possibles, these videos are made possible with your support.